the car would close everything for us. That's pretty. Like well, well pretty good. Wes sent me a text today, said Merry Christmas, and I, I said, I said we're having tamales. You can come by and have some. I know it's a little bit of a drive. Where's he I, live? California. Oh yeah, it's a little bit of a drive. Yeah. What does he do? You were talking about uh, Steve's son. Yeah, I think he um, does some. Uh, I think he does some. Uh, um, animation. No. Uh, stories or something like that. Um, I don't know. I don't, I don't know. Why. That's close enough. Yeah, that's good. But um, you think he's telling the truth? I don't yeah, know. who knows? I don't know. I don't really. I don't know. I just kind of. You don't really think about it. I kind of. Um, yeah. I kind of like. Um, I like, uh, you know, I, I tell them what, what's on, I tell them what I'm doing, honestly, and then, um, you know, uh, uh, I, you know, if I, I'm, I'm, you know, if you want somebody to talk to, I'm, I'm there, you know, yeah. so. I get that. So, uh, yeah. Where'd the tamales come from? Any idea? No, I think, uh, I think, um, actually, one of the, one of our neighbors over there on Fair Oaks, or not Fair Oaks, but on, uh, Brookstone. Yeah. Um, uh, she makes, um, good like food and so sometimes Zoila you know just orders food from her oh really yeah she she cooks and stuff like that and wow. so sometimes they she she lives you know like five houses away or something like that oh, wow. she, so she just is she hispanic her. yeah oh that's cool for Zoila. got my she, friend over there she brings stuff over, and I think, and I think that she probably made those tamales, but I could be wrong. Isn't oh, that wonderful? It might be, uh, it might be from the store, you know, somebody. Yeah, who knows? People, That's okay. People out in front of the store. Yeah, nothing wrong with that, John. No. I'm just always suspicious of stuff off the street. Right, I understand. You know, that's the only thing I am. Yeah, what I would do is I would probably eat half one or eat one, see if your body can handle it, and if yeah. not, you know. Or you could steam them, though, and shove all the germs, too. Ah, that's a good idea. I used to put them in a pressure cooker, but I don't know if I had it. I never I heard about it. in a microwave or just put it. How long do you cook them for and what temperature? I used to steam them, uh, put them, I used to buy tamales. Do you have to put yeah. it on a certain temperature? And I used to make tamales. We start, oh, you made tamales when you were little. Yeah, but do you put put the steamer on, you put it on a certain temperature? You put or it on just... high to get it going, get your water boiling. And then once it's there, then you cut it back. But I had, they make tamale steamers. They don't dry out. Yeah. It was, uh, or I used to take a, I don't know if I had one of those thing that you know steamer you made broccoli in. You, it's like a little screen. Oh, uh, okay. It might right. be out there in that shed. I think I have a picture in my head of what you're talking about. Yeah, it's like a little. Um, it's a. Uh, it's just is a frame where, and you, you, uh, it pulls up. And then you can open it up for bigger pots. It kind of fits a variety of different sizes. It has a hinge on it yeah. with the bottom like that and then a hinge on it. And then so it kind of fits a variety of different uh, saucepans. Yeah. And you just kind of nestle them in there. I remember yeah. making them. We made one when you were young. I just 
<laughs> do that anymore, but when you were little, we used to make them out of Yeah, that was a while ago. I don't know if you even remember, do you? I know you that you told me. To roll them. I know that you told me that it was a very long process. But yeah, I don't you gotta make the masa. Friend that gave me the recipe. And she was Hispanic. Mm -hmm. And I said, oh, I don't know if I had the recipe anymore. I found an index card. I don't know what that means. Grandma Vila used to put uh, green olives in. Yes, in of course. That's part of the. Yes, of course. And that was the, the awesome part. Yeah, now I like them. Yeah, I don't know if Debbie makes them at all. Mm. I need to give him a card. I need to send him a Christmas card. I used to remember the wrappers, but I don't know if I do anymore. 4812, yeah. maybe? 48, 49. Sounds right. I got it written down somewhere, I think. Yeah. But I don't remember it off the top of my head. Should be 49. My house has been there since the 50s. Yep. Yeah. These homes were built like on a brick shit houses. I mean, they were just incredibly well made. Yes. To wear the test of time. Yes. I do remember Grandma saying that they bought that when they first you first got a job and they moved here and they bought that house. Mmm. Yeah. It was brand new, I think. Why did they? Oh, was it? Was it? Was it? Uh, Papa that that got uh, that his military. Brought him to Tucson, or was it? What was the school reason? School brought him to Tucson. He was, no, he went to school back in. Uh, no, I don't know. Maybe it was the job. He went to school in. Uh, he went to school. Uh, he well, he was in service, maybe, but he didn't. You know, during the war, but he didn't stay in at all. I don't okay. know, like Grandpa left his son. Right. He, uh, I imagine it could have been the job that brought him out here. He went to school in uh, Illinois. Um, oh. He was from. He was from Illinois. Uh, some of the little towns in, in towns in Illinois. Yep. I'm pretty sure mom had a bakery. Her parents had a bakery. Yeah. What kind of a bakery did they have? Was it, did they just make like cookies and stuff? Probably. Or do you remember what they made? No, I don't have any idea. Okay. I don't know. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, maybe someday I'll find out why, what rot. Debbie uh, probably knows. John Boyer, or John Wheeler to, to over here. Yeah, Debbie would probably know. I don't know, is Jay still alive? Yes. Mm -hmm. Is he? He's got to be in pretty old, too. Yeah. How you been doing, Mom? Pretty good. Don't do a lot. Right. You know, my back hurts so bad, and uh, then my the new stuff I have is that arthritis that's a killer. So you don't go out dancing? No dancing, John. No dancing. Okay. No. Not a no dance. No dancing days are over.
Yeah, but she really enjoys that treat you bring over. That doll is just going to be... I don't think I'm going to put it up someplace. But on the mantle, maybe in there. Yeah, I'm going to leave that up to your discretion. She chews them up and there's just stuffing everywhere. Yeah, and it's not good for her. Probably for yeah, her. She eats a lot of good stuff. Yeah. You're right, it just comes out. But, you know, it's still kind of, I don't know how healthy it is. Yeah, some of that stuff probably gets stuck in her intestines. Yeah, she's working on that thing quite a long time. She usually gets she done with it. I know. By now. She sure is a good girl. She is. She's a wonderful girl. Here's these kids found. They were looking for some clues to figure out this riddle type thing that's in this house. Hmm. He flies like a comet and he pulls steam with pride and she's typing it. Oh, they're talking about Rudolph. Alexa. What type of dog is the target dog? From Reference.com, the Target Corporation mascot dog is a purebred white bull terrier. Huh. White bull terrier. Huh. Yeah. There's a, or there was a doggy over at the Humane Society that was a bull terrier. Uh -huh. And uh, the and her name was Amy, uh -huh. and so I got a card from Chad, birthday or a Christmas card from Chad, and so I was thinking about sending something to him saying Amy and I, you know, oh, okay. <laughs> Amy from the Humane Society. Yeah. And That's I, cute. Yeah. You know, yeah. His wife's name Amy. Yeah, she, but she was, um, she was, uh, real, she was, um, she was, she was hard in the, she was, she, she, I made her nervous or something like that in the beginning, not, not Chad's Amy, but the Amy over at the Humane Society. Oh, really? And, uh, she was, she was uncomfortable with me in the beginning, but then after that, I don't know what they I don't know if they trained her or what they did over at the Humane Society, but mm -hmm. after that, she was fine. She I wonder what happened. You know, you never really know what experience those dogs right. have had yeah. before you see them. Right. Yeah, she's... I was, I was really I was really surprised. Because I, I knew, well, she would bark at me, uh, I don't know, about a month or a month and a half ago or something like that. And she stopped? And then, you know, then time goes on and I got to give all the doggies treats around there mm -hmm. if they don't yell at me, if they don't bark at me. Yeah. So, so she said, well, I guess if I don't bark at that man, then <laughs> I get goodies. So I don't think I'm going to bark at that man. <laughs> Who knows, so. huh? Who knows what's in their minds or what they associate with it. Yep. So I gave or her some. How long it takes them to trust. Oh you know, yeah. Trust has got to be a big issue. Yes. Pressure is a big, big deal. I uh. Yeah. I I. I was working with some other kids that some other doggies that I uh. Normally work with, so they know me. They're from, very familiar with me. And then I had a little bit of extra time, and I said, "Well, I'm going to work with Amy a little bit because she seems to be cool with me now." So I will go over there. She was fine. She was great. Mm -hmm. And then the next week, she got adopted. Oh, so, well, well, that's good for her. Yeah. She was wonderful. Yeah, I was real happy. How long did they let them hang around before they euthanize them, though, or 
some of them with a plan, different plan. Well, if, over at the Humane Society, they, they keep them around as long as possible. Yeah. Until they get adopted. I mean, there was one that was there for a year and... No, really? God, a year and a half or something like that. Not Her name so was Gabby. Not so the pound, I imagine. No, the pound is more... Yeah, the, 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 the face is really yeah, uh, at a premium over there, so... Yeah, yeah there was uh, four dogs that... Uh, they're all pit bulls, little, it's but, tough. but uh, they were little ones though. They were like low riders, so I think their, huh. I think their dad or their mom might have been. I think yeah, I think mom was short, and so they were all, uh -huh. you know. But but they didn't. But they weren't. They weren't. They the people that had them didn't take them to a trainer. Didn't work with yeah. them at all. So, so they just threw them in the backyard. Oh dear. And uh, no socialization. I think there was a teenager that um, uh, was in the neighborhood, and he would terrorize them every yeah. once in a while. Yeah. And so uh, they got out, and they, you know, <laughs> they said that you're not going to do that anymore to that teenager. Yeah. So they, I think they got a hold of that teenager, and they. They chewed him up a little bit, and mom was not. Then the teenager's mom was not too happy about that, and so uh, I think that she had uh, Pat come out and and get the dogs, and uh, you know they were they only had like a week, uh, otherwise they're going to get put down. And so anyway. Um, we all, uh, all the volunteer, all the vol all the pack volunteers and other people. We all, uh, what do they call that? Networked. Uh -huh. yeah. yeah. So we all networked with a lot of different people and trying to get these get these kids out and they got it. They all got. It saved and now got adopted or or fostered or something like that. So